So I'm outside Dajau Si Zhengmen, the main entrance to Dajau Si Zhokang Temple. Surrounding Zhokang Temple is Bakuo Jie, Bakuo Street, and everyone walks around Bakuo Street in a clockwise fashion now. Dajau Si is around about 1300 years old. So the temple was originally built following the arrival from Nepal of Princess Chizun, who married the Tibetan king Songzang Gambu. Yeah, that's right. We're going to go inside the temple. Again, can't film inside the temple, but anywhere outside we can film. And then I'm going to go around backwards here. So I'm on the roof of Dao Zhao Si. It's beautiful. It's said that when you enter Dao Zhao Si, you have truly entered Lhasa. And until that point, until you've entered Dao Zhao Si, you haven't really stepped foot in, in the true Lhasa. So this is it. Oh. Ooh. Hello. How are you So Bakudia is not actually that long a street, and it takes around 20 minutes to walk the entire length of Bakudia. However, Bakugutan, the Bakur ancient city, is much larger. And since 1951, the government has invested over 1.7 billion yuan renovating and maintaining Bakugutan. So as you can see, there's lots of people here, lots of tourists. Lots of locals, bustling little area of trade, culture, religion, and residences. People live around here as well. Looking for a place that sells tanka. That's the beautiful artwork. Pleasure, <laughs> Oh. If I was cool, I'd buy a pair of these. Unfortunately, I'm not cool. So, it's quite yellowy, which is making me think it's going to be really sweet. It's not too sweet. It's pretty nice though. It tastes quite like milk. <laughs> Hey, Lao Ban, this is Zhang Pao, right? What is in there? It's Yang Pi. That must be very, very warm. It's very nice. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are So that's it. I went all around Bao Jie and back at Da Zhao Si Zhengmen, the main entrance to Da Zhao Si. 
Now, of course, today you saw lots of tourists here, but there's also lots of locals. Many locals come here every day and go all the way around Bafodia, yeah, sometimes as many as 10 times to show their strength of belief. Right, I'm a bit out of breath just going around once because of the going in fan. So, the only, the only way I can think to make myself feel better, food. So this is Chun Shou Gong Mao Niu Shan Nai. Oh. This is what? This is what? Chinese food. Oh, that's Chinese food. Yeah. 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 Barley, mmm. That's nice. It's got like a very countryside, homely taste, like it's been made for someone's children. Probably made for her kids. It's very nice. Mm. It's not overly sweet. The chinko gives it a really good texture. Mm. It's lovely. I love it. 我今天喝的那个牦牛鲜奶跟牛奶一样，这个很特别。嗯 ，Great. What else can I go eat? So the last thing that I'm going to be trying whilst I'm here at Bakuo Gu Tong is something that I've heard about but I've never had before. It's 牛粪面包 or cow dung bread. Okay, so the place I want to go to is up there, Tibetan style bakery. Let's go and eat some. How do you get in? Low shang, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is my milk bread. Milk bread. What are the ingredients? This is Hei Qingke. Qingke. Hei Qingke. Hei Qingke. Hei Qingke. It has cheese. 野葱，然后这是什么？这是果酱。果酱、就是、哦，所以是一般就蘸的蘸果酱。那为什么叫牛粪面包？它是形状，就是形状是吧、就是、？OK OK， <笑>好吃吗？好吃。好，是甜的还是咸的？咸的，咸的。哇，不错、啊。哎，这个果酱是什么果酱？就是香蕉和苹果。哦 ，OK， 谢谢。I'm quite relieved that、um, it's just the shape. So it's called Newfin Mimba because it's, it looks like Newfin. It's very nice. It's salty, a little bit dry. Obviously, that's why they eat it with guojiang, with this jam. With very strong banana flavor. Look at that. Yeah, it's bread. It just smells of bread. Just bread. Oh, this is a big piece of bread. Do that in Newfin Mimba. I finally can say I've had a bread bread. Yeah, bread bread. 